So this tree has uh, have a lot of problems because I bring this tree from the previous owner that ne neglected the, the tree for at least seven years. So the tree starts to dying. The main trunk still alive, the apex still alive, and this branch here are alive. Every, every other branch of the tree is dead. Okay, so my intention is to make this tree uh, become alive and try to rescue the shape of it, trying to remove the dead part of the tree, try to solve the problems. So as you can see here, these branches, the left part of the tree and, um, and, and the back of the tree are gone. I need to find a way uh, to, to, to make branches right there. Or trying to backbud there, or put some graftings. Um, the elm is not as good as uh, to, to make the grafting works. But I will do my best to, to make that. So, as you can see here, the tree starts to push its new growth right now uh, because I'm in the process of put energy to the tree, give energy and feeding to the tree. So the tree is in my house for a week and the first day that it comes, I make some holes in the, in the ground to, to, to allow water to get in the root system and the air also and put bio gold one tablespoon in every part of the, the, tr the, the, the pot to give energy to the root system. In spite of that I use foliar feeding to allow the foliage to get also feed. So the tree comes in the Saturday, I apply foliar feeding, four days later another foliar feeding and today I give another foliar feeding. So in a week, in seven days, I give three times foliar feeding to this tree. Pull it, put it in the sun, completely it is in the sun for the, uh, the day around. Um, as you can see, if you not see it, I will try to show you, the tree starts to push us new foliar, new fo foliage, much bigger than there was uh, when I brought it. As you can see, the small parts of the, the foliar, the try to closest the image, as you can see, the first four the first four leaves are very, very compact and small, and the other two are trying to be bigger. And you can see here also, okay, the trees start to push this new growth bigger and faster. So that's the way that I intend when I use foliar feeding, is trying to make this foliage get energy to the tree. And with that, trying to establish something to work with. Even if the tree, if your trees or, or whatever, if the trees are not healthy enough, you don't want to work it because they will not respond to you as you intend. If you try to back by the tree when he's dying, when he's weak, the first thing that will tell you is I don't have energy enough so if you cut it I will bleed and I will be more weak than they was before so you need to keep that in mind before you start working these trees so in the next three four months I will fertilize the tree by root feeding by bio gold feeding and foliar feeding and if the tree pushes new growth very, very significantly, for example, like this, very long shoots in the summer, I'm sorry, very long shoots like this. Okay, it's easier. Okay, right here. Even if do that in 
every part of the tree, I will start to make a small prunes. Okay. Instead of let the tree be bigger and the, the, the branch elongate too much, I will stop the growth, trying to allocate the energy for the weaker, weakest part of the tree. As you can see here, this is a very, very weak branch. As you can see the foliage, very, very small. My intention is to keep these branches alive. For example, as you can see here at the top, the foliage, sorry, let me able to focus. Okay, it's not working. As you can see here, oh, try to try to focus. Oh no, it is not that. Okay, so the branch is alive. There are foliage in the tip of it, the tip of that, but they are very very small. My intention is trying to make these small branches become a little bit more strong as you can see the difference between the branch that's still growing and those who have almost weakened to death so this is the same part of the tree so my intention is gave energy to the entire tree and with that give me some energy to give me some energy to work with and to put this tree as beautiful as was before. So thank you for watching. I will keep you posted by that. I will let the image, sorry, I will let the image of the tree. This is a Chinese helm, Ulmus Parvifolia. Thank you for watching.